and welcome to Netizen News, a show that fills you in on all the latest happenings across Chinese social media. Today we'll be talking about one of China's most mysterious neighboring countries, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, popularly known as North Korea. On the 6th of January, the Hermit Kingdom declared it had detonated its first ever hydrogen bomb. Although the US and other experts suspect that the weapon was not a real hydrogen bomb, as the size of the blast likened it to be in fact an atomic bomb instead, this nonetheless marks the fourth occasion that the DPRK claims to have tested a nuclear weapon, the previous time taking place in 2013, which triggered a further round of UN sanctions on North Korea. However, the fact that despite of global condemnation and heavy sanctions, the country appears determined to develop its nuclear program and continues to violate UN regulations, which has sparked outrage and concern across the world, most noticeably amongst the USA and South Korea, which of course has a very tumultuous relationship with the North Korea. Although China is North Korea's main trade partner, it has publicly condemned its neighbor's nuclear weapons tests. As the detonation occurred a mere 50 miles of the Chinese border, are Chinese netizens worried about the unpredictable behavior of their neighbor? According to my research, many netizens do appear very concerned by North Korea pursuing its nuclear program. On the morning of the 7th of January, the day after the alleged H-bomb test, 1,600 Weibo users admitted they felt their safety was in danger and called for China to take action. Many concerns stemmed from health risks that could be caused by the radiation of the weapon. Thus, a Weber user called Basil Fengchen wrote that the DPRK just tested another hydrogen bomb. I need to leave northeast China as soon as possible, given that my province, Jilin, is so close to the border. I'm afraid of the radiation poisoning. Similarly, another post by an anonymous user comments that there is an explosive CAC just 100 kilometers from China, which has been built by an amateur. Who knows whether this bomb will leak or explode someday? Netizens also worry about China's regional stability. The Weber user Wu Qiu Shouwang underlines this as a severe national security issue for China. Furthermore, another netizen argues that if North Korea continues with its nuclear program, it may persuade Japan and South Korea to pursue their own on nuclear programs. This prospect would be very worrying for China as its historical tensions with those two neighboring nations. In fact, an online survey on the Chinese website huanshu.com found that 81% of its participants saw DPRK's H-bomb as a threat to China. However, some netizens have tried to dispel such worries by highlighting that China is the biggest trading partner of North Korea, and therefore the nuclear test of January the 6th was not intended as a threat to China. Similarly, it was also argued that China should not worry about the risk of nuclear accidents, as this really occurred during nuclear tests. The war between both parties of the Korean Peninsula is not officially over as a conflict during the 1950s was halted by a truce, but not settled by a treaty. As a result, it may not come as a great surprise that South Korean President Park Joon-hye responded to the DPRK's fourth nuclear weapons test with outrage and called for even more extreme sanctions that will make North Korea feel bone-numbing pain and added, I am certain that China is very well aware if such a strong will isn't followed up by necessary steps, we will not be able to stop North Korea's fifth or sixth nuclear test and we cannot guarantee true peace and stability. Furthermore, on the 18th of January, the Japanese newspaper Asahi Shimbun stated that China was asked by the U.S. to hold both its oil exports to the DPRK as well as its anthracite coal inputs from there. The cutting of this lifeline would signal a severe economic sanction to North Korea. China has not yet responded to the proposal. So, what do netizens make of the request by the USA and South Korea? Well, actually, netizens reacted quite negatively to the comments of Park Joon-hai. It seems many feel that the South Korea leader is either blaming China for the actions of North Korea or exerting too much pressure on China to handle the country. For example, Yu Zhirong notes, although South Korea is nervous about the prospect of the DPRK having a hydrogen bomb, it is still ridiculous for South Korea to hold China responsible and demand us to stop DPRK. In addition, Wu Jia Chidui Mei Ruhua complains that South Korea only knows to rely on China. The reaction is quite surprising given that China and South Korea appear to have grown a lot closer in the recent years. For example, Xi Jinping and Park Jun hai have held six summit meetings in the past three years, whereas she has never met North Korea's Kim Jong-un. In regards to the U.S.'s proposal, the reactions are mixed. On the one hand, there are also a significant number of Weber users who agree with the suggestion. Nonetheless, others maintain that the U.S. should not get involved in matters which ought to only concern Asian countries. Similarly, as of the morning of the 19th of January, almost 1,000 Weibo users also put forth that before the U.S. government raises this subject, it should cease selling weapons to Taiwan. 
Okay, so how should China respond to North Korea's fourth nuclear bomb test? Are the proposals by South Korea and the USA reasonable? Let us know what you think on Twitter. Thanks for joining. Bye.